Welcome to our lesson for today. We are looking at systems technology, which is under hardware. Now, in this lesson, now that we know all of these different components that make up a computer, which is your input devices, output devices, and your processing devices, now we have a small case study that we will explore and in that case study, we need to focus on identifying your computer hardware. Now, you need to know when you see an advert, what is it that they are advertising and is it what you need before you even decide if you are going to buy that computer. Now, here I have an advert. Now, this advert is showing us what this computer has. It has an Intel Core, a uh, dual core 11 processor with 1.8 gigahertz. It has 320 gigabytes of HDD DVD and uh, DVD RW dual player, um, 1024 megabytes of RAM, 512 megabytes of DDR, ATR graphics card with 512 megabits, and you can see the rest. This is all part of this computer. Now, before I can even decide to buy this computer, I need to ask myself a few questions. And before I even ask myself a few questions, I need to know about a few specific items in this advert that are very important. Now, let's look at uh, this case study. We are planning to buy this new computer, and while you search, you find this advert of a computer. But like I've said, we have to look at this advert very carefully. Now, things that you really need to note. Can you see the size of your processor? Can you see it? Can you identify it? Can you see the size of your RAM? Will you be able to see it and identify it? And are you able to see the size of your hard drive? Can you see it? Can you identify it? Now, those are the three important items in this advert that you really, really need to know before you can even start deciding. Now, if you remember, we did talk about the processor, what it does, what a RAM does, what a hard drive does. Now, it's very important and very vital that you need to know what are you going to use your computer for so that it can allow you to know how big your computer hard drive needs to be, how fast your CPU needs to process your data. Now, these are the three important aspects. You have your processor there, your hard drive there, and you have your RAM. So those are the three most important aspects that you need to focus on on that advert. Now, have you decided what computer you want and what do you need it for? Now, once you've decided, then when you see this advert, you would now be able to make a decision whether you are going to buy this computer or not because it fits your purpose or it does not fit your purpose. Right, now, why do you need to know or why do you need to really, really understand this um, advert or this hardware? Now, let's look at each hardware component separately. Now, hardware configuration. Now, what does this mean? Now, your hardware would obviously need to depend on each other. Now, what is important is your CPU, which you'd find on your motherboard. Remember, our motherboard, we said it allows your components to work together. Now, for your CPUs to process this data and RAM, it obviously needs to be in a motherboard which is able to handle the processing. Another aspect is your memory. Now, your memory, which is um, your RAM, it is, remember, it is assisting your CPU. Now, if your RAM is not enough, it means it can make your CPU suffer. So, your configuration of this hardware is very important. You cannot want to play games when you have a processor with a smaller processing um, size. Now, you need 
your CPU to be processing large amounts of data or to be able to process large amounts of data so that you can be able to play your game. But again, in that instant, remember when does RAM act? RAM is very fast and it's electronic. Remember we said it only functions when your computer is switched on. So while your processor is busy processing, your RAM needs to be able to handle that data in order your processor to function and process your data quicker and quicker. Now remember you wouldn't want to use a computer that takes seconds and seconds for it to respond. So this is all very important and it's very important that it works together. Now lastly is your hard drive size. Hard drive size would obviously mean that your hard disk need to be bigger if you want to store larger programs or if you want to use other programs that need bigger storage. Now you cannot want to be playing games and you play games with um, a storage which is smaller because remember games would be software that needs to be installed onto your computer meaning they would use more space. So you definitely need more hard drive space or more hard drive size so that you can be able to store your games. Now these um, hard drives you obviously know that they can keep files permanently they are mechanical or optical or you can say electronic but they are slower because they are even able to keep data even if your computer is off. Difference between your hard drive and your RAM is that your RAM only functions when it's switched on and your hard drive will still be able to keep your data even if it's switched off. So when you switch off your computer and you did save information on your hard drive, you'll still be able to find it. But if your memory is still active and you don't save your document and you switch off your computer, you will not be able to find your document because remember it's only temporarily while your computer is switched on. So these are some of the computer hardware parts in terms of processing that you really need to be able to identify and know the purpose so that you can be able to choose carefully if this computer would, would be suitable for your use or is not. Thank you for joining us for today. We'll see you next time.